Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Z from GoRizzy.com and in today's video we are going to be creating a world search puzzle. In three simple steps we're going to create this puzzle. So uh, don't go away, alright? Welcome back guys. So we'll just go to Amazon and we'll type large print print WhatsApp puzzle like I am doing here. Okay, I usually use um, self-publishing titan for my research. Okay, so uh, if you see sponsored, it means the person is doing ad and I like to uh, go with puzzles that I do not see sponsored on. It means they have organic traffic like this one now. Okay, it has an organic traffic like this ones they are selling on their own so uh you can actually go and niche down like i did here i just simply type 2023 what such large print puzzle book for adult and it gave me 952 such result okay so i'll just go in let me check this one and see it has uh it has 131 review and it's a 4.8 star okay so it says 2023 what's that large print puzzle book uh 100 plus word sat puzzles okay and this book was created uh 17th of october 2023 so let's just see uh let's see the look inside feature this is the belong to me page and then each page has 20 20 uh puzzle for you to search okay Go to your chat GPT. I believe you already have an account. If you don't, I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up. It's absolutely free. And you can ask chat GPT to do anything for you. So today we're going to just be searching for um, a list of, let's ask it to give us a list of um, 15 words related to nature. And then we'll ask it um, to give us 15 words related to the ocean. You can ask anything actually and it will do that for you. Or you can even say give me a list of things related to love since we're in the season of Valentine. Okay. So or Valentine, let me see. There you are. It just gives you the list, alright? That's the first step to creating this word puzzle, this word search puzzle. We're gonna be using Microsoft Word Search puzzle maker you can actually search for it U W P, and i'm going to also leave the link below where you can go there and just um, click on it and it will take you here so when you get here just click on get in app okay i'm not going to dive into this then you click play and it will automatically uh, take you here i already have it here so this is what your world puzzle looks like if you click on that link and then it's take you here you can see the width we're going to be using show puzzle and show answers uh those are basically what we're going to use here and then uh, regenerate puzzle so you need you want to put this to 16 because if you want a large print the lower the number the bigger the words you will get from your word search generator you see it's bigger now as soon as i clicked on it it's bigger so i'll just show you how i do this all right over here i'll just remove what they currently have in there and then i'll put in the words that we just searched 12 13 14 15. okay so uh i i was gonna do 15 per page so this is um 15 of the words we created just simply go to generate puzzle and there it is very simple go to save image that's the one we're going to be using save image so it will take us to where we can save our images okay so what you want to do is go to show answers all right and then i'll go to this image again and i save okay so this is the um second 15 just go back to show puzzle generate then we'll go back to save and you do p2 it's just as simple as that then you go to show answers and you go to save image again you just keep repeating the process all right until you have the number of puzzles that you want so you come to your canva app click customize and then um, we're going to be doing 8.5 by uh, 11 inches so guys this is a blank canva page so we'll just simply go to upload now i already uploaded uh, my uh, puzzles here but uh, i made it into a folder so i don't get to look for them so this is the first one here 
you can click this 3d uh, icon there it will show you if that's if you're doing the correct thing like if you're picking the first one so you don't mix up the solutions when you have to okay uh, a very key important thing you should note here do not drag uh, horizontally okay so use the corners if you want to enlarge or reduce else you're going to distort the word that your puzzle generator already created for you so i'll just position to the center and then i'll go to text and pick a, a subheading and put puzzle here all we're trying to do is to just um, customize and beautify this thing so i'll reduce that font to one and then i'll i'll bring it down a little bit okay so um we want to put in our words here so we need another subtitle okay so i'll go back to chat gpt and i'll get uh, the puzzle words we created earlier okay so this is the first one i'll just copy and just simply control v if you're using a window and then i think command uh, z for a macbook okay so uh, this is what it looks like i want to just Take the first four so uh, if you finish customizing this very first one every other thing is just uh, like duplicates you just keep duplicating what you have okay so this is the one you will concentrate more on so you can get uh, a good design so you can use it as sample for every other thing you're doing concerning your word search so I'll just drop that there okay I'll just duplicate so I can and duplicate I want it into three places I hope we can see this let me increase it a little bit more okay so I'll go back to okay I'll go back here now and copy the other four I've copied the first four this other next four copy mm, do the same so we have our words here now i'll just drag to fit in so they are spaced out evenly okay so guys let's beautify this um, thing just go to element and then click on flora or whatever you like i, I want to go with flora i think i'll just go with this let's see if it works and then if it doesn't we can always change it or i can just get and uh, let me find something else Okay, this is also nice. This is also a nice flower. Let's tilt it and see if it works well here. Okay, that works. And so you see, I'm just trying to customize and then we can just simply pick anything else, okay? And put it here. Let's reduce this. I don't really like that, but it's okay. Simply because we don't want to waste time on here. Okay, this is some flower. This seems nice too so let me flip it so it's facing this way okay i remove this i don't like that okay so you can actually re um, change the transparency of these images if you don't like them i just simply duplicate and then i brought it here flip it around okay okay guys okay i think this will do let's leave it like this okay so let's drag this out or reduce it so it doesn't interfere with our words okay okay so we have the first one so we'll just um we'll duplicate and then we'll start creating the others so uh what, what i usually like to do i like to leave a blank in between so in case uh, someone might decide to use a pen or something and then you don't start getting complaints on your store about bleeds and all of that okay so uh, you just go ahead and change the word this words and then change this to two i'll do that and then i'll come back and show you how it looks like okay So um, guys, there's something I, I like to do to make it easy for me. I go to this uh, element and I click on frame so that uh, I get a square frame that I can fit this puzzle into. That way, my puzzle don't get to move around when I am customizing it or, or rather when I am um, when I'm having to drag and drop, do you understand? 
like if I if I go to the um, puzzle two now I will have to let me just show you what I mean okay so I fit my puzzle into the frame so it's easy for me to just pick okay so I'll put this frame here again and just change the puzzle that I will put that way I will I'll maintain the same size across all puzzle so I'll just take this to the back and then I'll change this puzzle that I have on here okay so I'll just come back to my project and put my puzzle too this should be my puzzle too I'll just put it here so you see it's very very easy to manipulate when you do that put an element on it here that way we are maintaining same size across the puzzle board okay so my puzzle 3 I'll just go back to my project and pick it this is my puzzle 3 okay okay guys so let's go to the solution page just bring out one of the pages for your solution uh, if you want to still use something with the flower then by all means do so okay so we'll remove this now okay so I'll just come here and write solution get the heading centralize and then get then uh, I'll go back to my project and start putting in my solution now this should be my okay this is solution two so four solutions should be able to fit into one page or two depending on how you decide to uh, do it okay so that's that's solution two let me see this is solution three I'll bring it here and then this should be solution one okay so so I'll just duplicate this puzzle one up here let me just change the font to something thicker change this to two duplicate and bring it down so I'll reduce this so that you can see completely what we're doing okay so guys this is our puzzle solution we need to create our about page okay so I'll just come here and pick this any of the puzzles and then I'll just simply put it here uh, make it transparent because I want to write on top of it I'll just make it as transparent as possible okay this work then I'll go to pick a heading and write um, anything let me just say positive I'll just bring it up here and change the font I like to use a handwritten font like this one so I'll just use this font and increase it a little more okay so let's put another text here and write word search I'll duplicate this because I, I want to write this belong to bring this down centralize and then go to element get lines so if you want to make this into a Valentine project by all means please all you need to do is to just change your design instead of flower you could use things like love and all of that by all means to okay in order for me not to go look for flowers everywhere I'll just copy and paste the ones I already have here I'm just brought in my sunflower again <laughs> okay so this brings us to the end of this uh, creation okay so um, let's go through and see I think I like what we have here okay so my lovelies if you're still here you have not subscribed please do so so you can help this channel grow all right and then um, hit the like button and click the notification bell remember to share this channel with your friends okay this year we're making money yes so create one of these and post on your uh, your store your online store uh, let me know in the comment section below what you want me to create okay i uh, leave a comment leave uh, an encouragement I always respond all right so we'll just go ahead and download this as a PDF file okay as a PDF file done everything we used here was uh, free apps so nothing should stop you this year all right guys um, I'm going to leave a link to the cover page of this which is a part two of this video go and watch it and see how we create the cover page you can now tweak it tweak <laughs> tweak as you like all right okay until my next video remember I love you and keep growing